So how to make a border moulding device. If you're using the simple technique, piece of, this is dowel, but any piece of wood with a, a sharpened end, which you can do with a knife, um, that's easy. If you're using this sort of device, then um, you can use um, this sort of saw to, to cut the shape. The advantage of this saw is that you can loosen the end and alter the angle of the blade, which is a very fine blade. Tighten up the end and you can angle in there and you can get round it. So that one's ideal for cutting these shapes. Once you've got it cut to, to um, the shape that you want, and you can use this for more complicated shapes as well. That's, that's um, if you want a double curve, perhaps. Um, then chamfer it down each side so it's sort of pointed in the middle. And you to you do that, I tend to use a, a file like that or a smaller one, perhaps, for a bit more detail. And uh, a chisel can be good as well. So that's those two. Um, if you are making one that's like this, then you need a piece of um, copper pipe, which you cut slightly oversized and then slice down the middle. And I'll slice it with an angle grinder, which I'll have to go elsewhere to do that because the, my, my vice isn't here. So, first of all, if I put a piece of tape on it and mark out a line along the length so that I know what I'm aiming for, then that will make the angle grinder work easier. So if I put one line there, and then the other one on the other side. There, like that. And then I'll use the angle grinder to cut along that length and chop a piece off of a suitable length, slightly oversized. So I'll go and do that and I'll come back and carry on. Right, I've cut the two pieces of, of metal. Um, one turns out to be deeper and one shallower. I think we'll choose the shallower one and work with that. And it's fairly solid to the surface, but it definitely needs tidying up the rasp. So that's what I'll do next. Less rough. And once you've done that, offer it up to the surface and make sure it sits well, because if it sits flat on the surface, it'll work well on the wall. You don't want it to be wobbling around. So having done that, then you find a piece of timber to make a handle and then connect the two with some car body filler. And to do that, I'm going to need some gloves and some car body filler. This is car body filler with fiberglass in, so it's the one for filling holes. It's because it's stronger. It's probably far more than I need, actually. Hardener and mix it up. Right, then you can plaster this all over the edge of your handle. And then do the same on the back of here, trying not to get it on the inside because it will be a pig to clean off afterwards. Right, and then offer the two up together. And the same the other side, because what you don't want to have is lots of hollows so that the plaster gets caught in them. You want to fill in all the gaps with your car body filler if you can. And luckily, you've got a few minutes of fiddling around time to do this. Now I'll try and clean off the rough edges as much as I can, because the more I can clear, clean it up now, the less tidying I'll have to do once the car body fill is set. There we are. OK from that end. And OK from that end, I think. Good. So I think I'll leave that now. 
and let it set. Right, the border mould has set and um, is ready for moving on with the next stage. This is what we're aiming for, is a, a 45 degree chamfer here and here. So I'll first of all give it a bit of a clean up because the, the uh, card body filler is a bit all over the place. Um, mark out the 45 degrees. A bit of tape is useful for that. It's not ideal really. What we need is a good 45 degree angle like that one. That looks better. Straight along that edge and touching at that corner. And then I can draw the line across there at 45 degrees. And then I'll do the other side. But first of all, I will take this line straight down here. And it's already straight down there. Down here. So line this up with the top edge so it's right angles. And bring that down there. And then it needs to join back to where it first thought of. There. So this bit here, here and here is the bit that needs to be cut off. And it's mostly timber, a bit of car body filler and a bit of metal. And I think what I shall probably do is run through that with an angle grinder and then I might carry on with a saw perhaps. We'll see how that works. And the other side needs to be done to match so that you've got, there we are, that way. So you've got a slope in here and a slope in here. And um, I'll go away and do that and then show you the finished product. Right, so the, um, the border moulds now cut at nice 45 degree angles. And if I strip off the... That, the only thing left to do is to oil it up. It's because um, oiling it tends to help stop the, the plaster sticking to it when you're using it. So it's worth putting quite a bit of oil onto it, any sort of oil will do, and uh, then leaving it for a little while to soak in, and then it'll be a more well-behaved mould. There you go.